go again. So we've seen our Docker image, we've nicely uh, created the Docker image interactively and automatically. We've been practicing the, the various Docker commands, you know, to remove an image, to remove a container, and list containers, list images, and so on and so forth. And we saw that uh, when we ran our images, for example, if uh, when we ran docker run minus it, for example, the Ubuntu one, uh, or let's use my Ubuntu, that it automatically goes into the shell, if you can see. And then what we can do here is, as we mentioned before, we install the, the wget command. Now, how do we know or how do we set what to automatically run uh, or, what, or what's the def default command to run when we uh, run our container? Well, uh, for this purpose, we're going to learn about two very important Docker commands, the cmd command and the entry point command. So let's talk about, I'm sorry, entry point command. Let's talk about the cmd uh, command. What we need to do is open up our Docker file, and then what we can do is uh, let's practice, for example, because in our latest image we have now the wget command, so let's try and actually make use of it. What we're going to do here is we're going to execute the, w, uh, the wget command to retrieve our IP address from the, from the ifconfig.me website. If we go to the ifconfig me website this website tells you what your IP your IP address is I mean if I just do slash IP it just gives you the IP address so we're going to retrieve that using the wget we run this by default in our image and we'll, what we need to do is go to our docker file and then go to the very end after we do the uh, uh, updates and install wget and we tell it to use cmd command execute this wget minus capital O minus minus Q and then we give it the full address to the if config dot me slash me slash IP so what we're doing here is we're using the CMD or the command um, docker command to define a default command to run when you know none is given so if we don't pass a default command to run then it will run the cmd uh, it's run the, the wget and to get the ip address right also, and and this cmd file i'm sorry this cmd command it can it can appear anywhere basically in the docker file so in any line really and uh, one really important thing to know about this cmd command is that if we have multiple commands in the same docker file then only the last one will be executed, meaning each one will override the previous one, right? So re be aware that you can only use this really effectively once in your uh, Docker file, yeah? So using multiple CMD commands in the Docker file is really useless because only the, the, the last one will be executed. So now let's save the file, exit, um, and then let's build the image. So docker build uh, minus c let's tag it and give it a tag of maybe if config me um, or let's do it like for example get my ip address and then use the dot to tell it to find the docker file in the local directory and then run it and it tells us here it has run successfully if i try to list the images it should show up here this is my latest one it was built only seven seconds ago and now if I try to run it docker run um, get my IP address so I can use tab to autocomplete if I run it it will run my container and by default run the wget command to retrieve my IP address via the ifconfig.me website as you can see here so what it did here is it ran the container, it executed this command by default, got the output, and then it just automatically exited and automatically left, right? As we mentioned before, we can actually override the CMD command, so the next one 
uh, will always override the previous one if we do that in the inside the docker file but we can actually override it even when we run the container by passing the command so this will override the default command if I say bash for example it will run the uh, I'm sorry it will run uh, it will run a bash environment but one really important thing here is I need to run it interactively so I need to say my minus it so I can go into the bash right so if I do that the same command now minus o minus and then minus q and then http slash slash if config put me slash ip this should retrieve my ip address from the if config dot me website as we executed previously okay absolutely right so always remember cmd you can use it only once or effectively only once in the docker file to run a, a, a command by default when we run the container or we can override it even when we run the container by providing uh, what, what we want to run in that container but always remember that we need to be running the image interactively yeah um, we spoke about CMD in this video and the next video we'll try and talk about entry points so again let's, let's just list our uh, docker images uh, I'm sorry I'm still inside the container so let me exit Docker PS, nothing's running in the background the latest one we ran uh, was the the one to get my IP address maybe we can get the ID only if we want or maybe if we want to remove it it's up to us remove the, uh, the, the, the container past the the ID which six C something if I do tab it autocomplete and remove it uh, how many images do we have we have the get my IP address my Ubuntu image right okay let's stop here and continue in the next video by talking about the entry point command thanks again and see you next time